Ryan's back. A very humble Big Ryan after yesterday. I thought it was going to be FSU Bama. FSU got destroyed uh, score wise, which is fine. I thought that could happen. Yes, I did bet on FSU though. There were a few plays that if FSU did them in the first half, it might have been a different game. They dropped the easy interception. They didn't get a touchdown on the you know from one foot out. Jameis Winston's knee was down. Uh, you know there were, but I mean that's the difference in games. You know it's plays and they didn't make them. And Oregon's a better team than FSU. I mean. Uh, I guess you could argue that FSU has had this coming all year. All year FSU has played with fire, but they were able to get away with it because it wasn't a top five team. I mean, if, you know, it's good they beat Louisville and NC State and Boston College when they were losing, but those are not teams the caliber of Oregon. And uh, FSU had these chances. They stopped Oregon in the first quarter. I think they only allowed one touchdown in Oregon's first four possessions, I think. Uh, but they couldn't get the ball in the end zone, and they just got beat. It was a fun game for a while, you know. Everyone will remember James Jameis Winston's Mark Sanchez like butt fumble where he twists around and loses the ball. But Oregon played well. I mean, uh, FSU didn't do a good job stopping Mariota. I'll tell you one thing that was fucking annoying about TV. They kept showing Super Mario Brothers with Mariota. So if you're watching the games, you're seeing, seeing Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers is a video game. It has nothing to do with Mariota. Mariota's name isn't Mario. He's not Italian. He's not a plumber. He's a football player. They didn't even superimpose Mariota's face on Mario. So they're playing this Mario, they're playing Super Mario Brothers, and it has nothing to do with anything. It just has some of the same letters that Mariota has in it. But he's not a plumber, and he's not Italian, and uh, he doesn't, I don't understand, like he doesn't kick shells around, he doesn't knock down dudes or break bricks. So I didn't understand that by uh, ESPN, but whatever. That was a fun game. The better game was the next game. The next game was a doozy. I thought Alabama was going to smoke them, and they started out 21-6. They're smoking them, right? But, uh, you know, FSU's big old quarterback doesn't go down. Their running back just tore up Bama. And uh, Alabama's quarterback, to me, was the difference. I mean, he, he, he made two horrific interceptions. One of them was a pick six. Horrific interceptions. They only lost the game by, you know, one score at the end of the game. It took them, like, 75 seconds to get 25 yards. It was horrible clock management. Horrible. They had a minute and a half left. They didn't do anything at all. They didn't even get close. But whatever, you know. Blake Sim this is a good Alabama team, but it's Blake Sims is not as good as AJ McCarron. Like Blake Sims just is not he's a very careless game manager, right? He makes a lot of he makes a lot of interceptions, especially on the road. He throws a lot of picks, whereas AJ McCarron didn't. Uh so you know, it's still a great Bama team. And right now I think a lot of people are down on the SEC, but I'm sorry, but Alabama is one of the two best teams in the country. Yeah, they lost to Ohio State and more power to them. But I bet you if they play Ohio State, they beat them at least six or seven of those times. You know, anybody can win any game. But Alabama's better than Ohio State. Alabama just didn't do the job yesterday. Their quarterback sucked, man. Like, But you know what? Credit to Ohio State. They came out and they played awesome. That quarterback came out of nowhere. Nobody knew he could do this. They now beat Wisconsin, pounded them. They beat Alabama. It's a good game. Alabama's defense was real good the second half. It's just Blake Sims threw those two picks. And, you know, and that's what Blake Sims does. So you got to take that into account. But So I got both of them wrong. Obviously, I, like everyone else, thinks that Ohio State can't keep this going and that they'll be able to handle that Oregon will, show, will blow them out of the water. But at this point, who the hell knows, you know. My, my confidence is shaken and rattled after yesterday. I was sure Alabama was going to win. And I thought FSU had a good chance. And maybe they did. We'll never know. But... You know, I feel I, I'm more shocked by Alabama losing than FSU losing. Like, honestly, Oregon's better than FSU. I just thought, oh, you get you get three to one odds on you know a 40-60 shot, 50-50 shot, because FSU has you know fully capable of beating Oregon. They're just not as good as Oregon. It's like Ohio State and Bama. Ohio State's not as good as Bama, but they beat them. We got NFL playoffs coming up this weekend. Uh, obviously, I'm cheering pretty hard for the Cowboys. Uh, one playoff win, I'll consider that a successful season. I mean, if they beat Detroit, go into Green Bay, even if they lose to Green Bay, that's a great season. Cowboys went 12-4. and four. Nobody thought they'd be this good. I thought they'd win eight or nine games. Romo's finally getting credit for being good. He's got a good, good O-line. And people are realizing slowly but surely that if you have if you have no offensive line, you have no team, period. doesn't matter the quarterback. Romo's a great quarterback, dude. It's a shame. I mean, every year, 30 touchdowns, 10 picks. People just remember those moments at the end when – he has to force throws because they have no running game and no O-line, so he has no time to make decisions. But now they have a good O-line. In the past few years, the Cowboys' offensive line was horrible. I mean, Romo, they got Romo killed. Their defense was the worst in the league, and now their defense is just average-ish, and their offense is so good with so many weapons that they're finally able to beat good teams. Hey, you never know. The Cowboys could go to the Super Bowl. Do I think they will? No. 
but they could. They beat Seattle before. I don't think they're going to win at Green Bay and at Seattle. That's the thing. I think maybe they could win one of those. Anyhow, I, I mean, everybody's on the Seahawks to win the, the NFC. I don't know. Uh, I, don't, I don't see why Green Bay can't do it. I don't see why Dallas can't do it. Heaven forbid Carolina would do it. I, I, I hope Arizona beats Carolina. It's a shame Carolina's in the playoffs. And I'm not a hater of Cam Newton or anything like that. I just it's a shame that a seven and nine, seven and eight and one team gets a home playoff game. That, that's all. They should at least have to go to Arizona. It's stupid the way that, that NFL seeds it like that. Like a division winner gets a home game, even if they're seven and nine against eleven and five team. That's pretty crazy. And Carolina might win that game. Of course, Carolina could go to Arizona and win too. Arizona's quarterback's not very good. Like they, they could have beat SF last week if Lindley doesn't make some mistakes. Anyhow. That's a Balls Deep Lotto ticket with Big Ryan for this week. My apologies for my picks yesterday.